So, to introduce this subject, um, I would like to talk about identity and access management, the IAM uh, letters. For us, uh, we can split this uh, field in, inside the two main topics. Identity management is how you manage your users and groups, and what we call the uh, identity application management. And uh, access management is how you manage the permission for your users. In most of the case, you have several different products to manage all these items. Uh, this is the case in uh, open source. It's uh, when you do uh, identity and access management, it's a uh, very good uh, information uh, source to, to know uh, what are the different products and how mature they are to, to, to deal with uh, your, your needs. Uh, what we can see uh, in this is that uh, we have mostly American companies uh, inside this and uh, mostly proprietary uh, solutions. So uh, why not? But uh, if we want to do some open source, we need some uh, alternatives. Uh, we have here in the room uh, a lot of uh, different uh, products uh, representing. Uh, some products are doing the same thing, other products are very complementary. Um, but uh, each product only covers uh, a subset of all the identity and access management stack. We, uh, we don't have today, or maybe uh, I'm wrong, but we don't have an open source product that covers all the identity and access management things. Um, and each product is done by uh, some uh, people or some companies uh, without the same uh, ideas on uh, uh, how to do it and the graphical uh, interface. Uh, we we'll see it was shown on the graphical interface. It's not the same as mine or as Emmanuel or as in uh, So th they are not integrated together, but they respect some standards like LDIP. So with LDIP on other standards, we can communicate between these. Our uh, idea was to choose some of the softwares. Of course, the software on which we are currently working or on which we know the community and we can work with people. Uh, it don't mean that we think the product we choose are the best product. Maybe uh, other products are better, but uh, we choose a product uh, that we are able to work on and to contribute. And uh, the goal was to unify all these products into one solution or one uh, initiative. So. Um, you may know some of, of them. I, I hope you, you know OpenNDAP, of course. Uh, I have a pointer here. How does it work? Ah, great. You know this. Uh, you know this if you were there uh, yesterday, because I, I gave a workshop on uh, MLNDAP. And inside the workshop, we've seen Fusion Directory, which is a, uh, an interface. LDAP Toolbox and uh, LST are other open source products that I will uh, just present. Uh, if you like this uh, picture, uh, there are the stickers just behind you. You can take them. So um, this product, uh, LDAP Synchronization Connector, uh, is a small uh, Java product without any uh, graphical interface. And uh, you can uh, use it to uh, synchronize identities between uh, any uh, LDAP directories, Active Directory, database, uh, flat files, web services, etc. So we, we use it uh, to do user provisioning, group provisioning, star provisioning, what you want to provision. Uh, it's very simple. It reads everything in, in a source. It will compare uh, source data with definition data, calculate modification, and apply modification. 
So it is not a, a bulk import tool. It is a, a really a, a comparison tool that will only apply what is different between source and destination. We have uh, LDAP Toolbox. LDAP Toolbox is a big project with several uh, components inside. Uh, for Fusion EM, we choose to use the white page component, which is a small uh, PHP uh, graphical interface. Uh, it's with only access to your ADAP server. The goal is to publish the data and uh, mostly uh, uh, name, uh, email, uh, photo, etc. So um, a small view of this is uh, the Star Wars uh, gallery. Uh, all this information are stored in, inside uh, the ADAP directory and can be displayed through this interface. Fusion Directory uh, is an um, LDAP management tool, so mostly uh, designed for uh, administrators, but it has um, a feature of administration delegation, so you are able through this interface to set up some administrative rights for a group of people, and you can delegate the user and group management to uh, some branches inside your LDAP Directory. It means that you can uh, tell that uh, these people uh, can update the telephone numbers on the emails of all the people of its own department. You can do such rules. So you don't have the need to manage all users and groups on the IT side. You've seen it uh, yesterday, but that's how uh, it is presented. Each icon can be a plugin. So if you need to manage uh, more data, we can imagine, for example, that we uh, use uh, the first row sch schema and we can create a plugin for the first row schema and update the data with <coughs> our own form inside this tool. Uh, you, you see you have a uh, some uh, some plugin for uh, PTI, uh, some plugin for uh, sudo, etc. Et so you can create a plugin for any LDAP scheme. Open LDAP, uh, I will not talk about it here because uh, there are most uh, people here to, to talk about it. Uh, and Lemon LDAP, that was uh, the topic of the workshop uh, yesterday. Uh, there, will be, there will be a, a big presentation about uh, this tool tomorrow. Uh, so I, I quickly uh, show, show this. This is uh, the application portal. It will uh, run all the single sign-on and access management part of the Fusion EIM uh, initiative project. So to conclude, um, what is the status of this project? We have a website which is great. Uh, we have a forge. Uh, we are hosted by uh, OW2, which is a, a consortium. Um, and uh, we have some uh, uh, mailing list, but we have no messages in the mailing list for the moment. Uh, we are very few people uh, inside uh, this project for now. And uh, we designed uh, some roadmap. The first version of the roadmap is to have some documentation on how to deploy all the components and to bind all the components together. We have a, a small uh, uh, view of this project during the workshop yesterday because we learned how to uh, integrate Fusion Directory inside Lemon LDAP with a single sign-on mechanism. So this is one of the integration we can do uh, between uh, all these tools. Uh, of course, the goal is that you have uh, uh, complete images. You can download the Fusion EIM project, and you will be able to have uh, uh, an already set up with an LDAP directory, a single sign-on uh, product, and an LDAP management product that will uh, be uh, already configured to work together. So what is the status for, for, for now? We just have uh, some marketing. <laughs> We don't have any code. Uh, all the code is owned in each uh, separate project. So we are working hard on each separate project. Uh, 
but we uh, we hope that uh, we can uh, soon be able to provide some images or documentation so uh, any people can directly uh, have a complete IAM solution without being uh, forced to download every component and associate them. Okay, that's all for me. Uh, thank you. Uh, I don't know if there is uh, any question about this project. If not, thank you. Thanks a lot.